In the last lecture, we have studied about Grebeck normal form and we also saw how to convert a given CFG to Grebeck normal form. So as we were converting, we have studied four different steps that we had to follow in order to convert a CFG to GNF. And in the fourth step, we encountered something known as a left recursion. And I told you that in the next lecture, we will be studying about how to remove the left recursion. And after that, our CFG to GNF conversion will be complete. So if you have not watched the previous lecture, I request you to watch it before you continue with this one. And if you have watched the previous lecture, you must be knowing that this was the production that we got after following those steps. And this production A4 gives B, A1, A4 was converted to this form after following step number 4. And here we see that A4 is giving a4, A4, A4. This part is known as a left recursion. This A4 is calling itself over here. And this part is known as a left recursion. And this is what we need to resolve or remove in order to get the required Grebeck normal form. So let's see how we can do it. For that, we need to follow step number 5, which is to remove the left recursion. So let's see how we can remove this left recursion. So in order to remove the left recursion, we need to introduce a new variable. So let me show you how to we introduce this new variable in order to remove the left recursion. So this one, this production is the same thing. I have just copied it down as it is. Now we see that the problematic production is this one. A4 gives A4, A4, A4. So here we are not supposed to have a variable or a non-terminal symbol. So this is the problematic variable. So in order to introduce a new variable, the production that we will make for the new variable is like this. We will take a new variable and we will make a production to it in which it will give the variables that follows that problematic variables along with the new variable. So let me show you how to do it. So let me call the new variable as z. Now how I will define the production for z is that I will take the variables that follow the problematic variable which is this a4 and I will take these two variables and write it once along with the new variable and once without the new variable. So what we have is a4, a4. This is the ones that follows the problematic a4 which is this one. So I will take these two a4, a4 and write a4, a4 and I will write this z along with it once and I'll make another production in which it will give just this a4 a4 without this z a4 a4 without the z so this is a new production that we have so how do you make it let me just tell you once more just take the variables that follow the problematic one and write it along with the new variable once and without the new variable once. So this is how you make the production for the new variable that we have introduced. Now we have to rewrite this A4 using this new variable. So let's see how we can do this. This is also very simple. What you have to do is you have to take this A4 and this part. You just write it as it is for one time and you write it along with the new variable one time. And this part we can avoid it because in order to avoid this part we are introducing this new variable. So let's see how we can do this. We will take this A4 and once I will write this as it is B B A3 A4 and then in the second time I have to write it along with the new variable Z. So B along with the new variable Z and this part b a3 a4 b a3 a4 along with the z so this is the new production of a4 that we have so if you look at this this is in gnf or Grebeck normal form because this a4 directly gives a terminal symbol or even in the other productions always we have a terminal symbol in the beginning and all the variables are always preceded by a terminal symbol. So this is the A4 that we have in GNF. So this is how we rewrite A4 using the new variable that we have introduced. So this was the grammar that we had. Now we have rewritten A4 and now let's see that what is the grammar that we are having. Okay so this is the 
status of our grammar now. A1 is added as it is. I did not change anything. And A4 from this one, we changed it to this one. So this is what I have written here. This is our new A4 that we have. And we have introduced a new variable called Z, which is this one. So I have just written A4, A4, which is this one first. And A4, A4, Z, which is this one. It is the same thing. And A2 and A3 also, I have not made any changes. It is the same as it is. Now let us check if these are in gray bag normal form or not. Let us start from A1. So we see that in A1, it is giving A2, A3 and A4, A4. But we know that in GNF, we are not allowed to have a variable in the beginning. We need to have a terminal symbol. So we need to modify our A1 in order to make it into a gray bag normal form. So let's see how we can do that. So this is our grammar and A1 gives A2, A3. So A2 is causing the problem. So I have to replace A2 with something so that it falls into a gray bag normal form. So what can I replace A2 with? I can replace A2 with the value B which we have here. So let me take A1. It gives, instead of A2, I will write B now. B and this A3 I can write as it is. So if you look at this, this one is now in gray bag normal form. And also A4, A4. A1 is giving A4, A4. This is also not in gray bag normal form because we are having a variable in the beginning. So what we can do is we have to replace this A4 with some other value. And what is the value with which we can replace A4? It is this whole thing, this value of A4. So A4 gives all this production. So I have to replace this A4 with all the productions that A4 gives over here. So let me do that starting from B. I will write B. So I have replaced this A4 with this B and this A4 I have to write it down as it is. A4 and it is giving B A3 A4. B A3 A4 and this A4 I have to write it down as it is. A4 and it gives BZ so bz so what we are doing is we are replacing this a4 so i have put bz and this a4 i have to write it down as it is and then we have b a3 a4 z b a3 a4 z and this a4 as it is as it is all right so now we have this production of a1 and if you check we always have a terminal symbol in the beginning of every production. So this is in gray bag normal form. And then A4 is already in gray bag normal form. Let me just write it down as it is without changing anything. Now let's come to Z. Now if you look at Z, Z is giving A4, A4. So here also we are having a variable in the beginning which is not accepted. So you have to replace this A4 over here with the value of A4 given in this production. So how do I do that? I will write Z and instead of this first A4, I am going to replace it with all these productions of A4. So starting with B. So it gives B and this A4 I have to copy it down as it is. A4 and this B A3 A4. B A3 A4 and this A4 I have to copy down. A4. Then we have BZ. BZ. And A4, I'm copying it down. A4. And then I have B, A3, A4, Z. B, A3, A4, Z. And this A4, I'm copying it down as it is. A4. Now, I've completed this part. Now, coming to this production. If you see, this production also is not in GNF. Why? Because Z is giving A4, A4, Z. And A4 is a variable. So we are not allowed to have a variable in the beginning. So this A4 also I have to replace it with all these values of A4 which is there in this production. So let me write it in this new line over here. It is actually a continuation of this one. So instead of A4 I have to write B. And this A4Z will remain as it is. A4Z and B A3 A4. B A3 A4. And this A4Z, we have to be copied down. A4Z and this BZ, BZ and A4Z will be copied down. A4Z and then BA3A4Z, BA3A4Z 
and I have to copy down A4Z. A4Z. So now it's a long production that we have for Z, but if you check, you see that in the beginning of every production we have a terminal symbol. So this is in Greyback normal form. So we have completed Z and A2 and A3. There are no changes, they are already in Greyback normal form. I can just write it as they are. A2 gives B and A3 gives A. So this is our new grammar that we have and if you check it you see that in all the productions we are having a terminal symbol in the beginning so that was the property that we had to achieve in order to convert the given cfg into greyback normal form so now we have successfully completed our conversion and the grammar that we have now is successfully converted into its equivalent greyback normal form so you have to follow all the steps from 1 to 4 which was discussed in the previous lecture and if you are having a left recursion you have to resolve it using this step that we have discussed in this lecture. So I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.